The Morrison Formation is really fascinating. The way it erodes because it's made up of not only sandstone but mudstones. The muds can be grays, they can be greens and browns and different colors. They erode, make really neat badlands. And so there's a lot of neat places where you can get out on your public lands here in Utah and explore the Morrison Formation. Uh, you might find a dinosaur bone. You may run into petrified wood. It's going to vary depending on where you go. Or you may just want to get out on the Morrison and just enjoy the scenery and the, and the topography. Everybody's heard of petrified wood. When you think of fossils, you know, the term petrified immediately comes to mind. And of course, that sort of translates into turn to stone. And it's basically wood that's been buried. Well, as it's been buried, minerals have been deposited in it to help preserve it. The color of the wood's gonna vary depending on the minerals that are there. So you'll get reds, you'll get greens, blues, blacks, white, depending on the chemistry of the ground. And this is what makes it very attractive for hobby collecting because you can cut, you can polish it, and you get a sort of a rainbow of colors plus the wood texture. A lot of times when you are hiking out in the Morrison Formation, you'll come across very large logs that are preserved or stumps or big pieces of, of wood that is weathered out. We like to leave the large logs in place and intact because one of the things we can do is develop interpretive signs for the general public. So there's a lot of people who like to see the logs, like to see the context that they're in and sort of get a better feeling of what was around at the time of the dinosaurs. So hobby collecting we encourage. That should be focused on small pieces of wood, but it's gotta be limited, 25 pounds of wood a day plus one piece and limited to 250 pounds a year. On the other side, we also have researchers who want to study this wood for scientific purposes to help reconstruct the environment the dinosaurs lived in. I actually, in this area, it's unique. I, I get to deal with paleontology quite a bit. Um, more than, than I would have expected, and, and it's actually been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of learning, um, but great. It's a, it's a great area uh, for paleontology. We do have a, a lot of dinosaur bones in the area. We also have a lot of fossilized clams and, and shells and, and stuff like that. We tend to get a lot of hobby collectors uh, for petrified wood. Uh, it definitely varies depending on the season. We see more in the spring. Um, and in the fall just because of cooler temperatures. But we also get, get a lot of people who come through to enjoy the scenery and, and look at the vast area and the stuff that we have available to us here in Hanksville. For those who are wanting to, to take photos or study, it's, it's a great area to come and look at them and, and try to keep them intact because we, we want other people to enjoy them as well. Yes. <laughs> that was classic. I'm a tree hugger. Oh. <laughs>